You've just picked up your Galaxy S24 or S24 Ultra, and now you want to kit yourself out with some of the best accessories. I've got 13 for you here today, and starting off with the first thing that most people go for with any phone, and that is the case. Now, this one literally arrived like in the mail yesterday. I've been waiting for it for so, so long. It's from a company called Magback, and I literally have one of their cases for every single phone that I own, the S23 Ultra, S22 Ultra, the iPhone 15 Pro Max, and that is because they are by far my favorite case of all time. Now, firstly, it is a decent thickness, so it's gonna protect your phone from drops at all angles. It protects the cameras on the back. It also protects the glass on the front with its raised edges, but it also gives you access to everything on the phone that you need. The charging ports, the mics and speakers, the S Pen, the buttons on the side, and it doesn't interfere with using the S Pen like so many other cases I've heard are having problems with this year. Also, this case makes the back of the S24 Ultra totally flat, so it will lay down flat on a desk and not rock around whilst you're typing or not or anything like lots of the other cases do. Now, this case also has MagSafe built into the back of this, so if any of you like me are switching from Apple to Android, then all of your MagSafe accessories will still work, like chargers, wallets, all that good stuff. But the magic trick on this case is that those MagSafe magnets are strong enough to literally stick this phone, this whole case and phone, to any metal surface. Now, whilst I'm at the gym, I stick it to the equipment in front of me to follow my workout routine. In the kitchen, I can stick it to a microwave or an oven or a fridge to watch a video or just have the phone in easy reach if you're mid-texting with someone. I found it really useful in Vegas early this year where I could actually stick my phone to a metal part of like the hotel wall whilst I was getting ready, whilst on a video call to my wife, just so I could do it all hands-free. Now, something new with this year's cases from Madback are the interchangeable and coloured power and volume buttons. I absolutely love these. You can buy a pack of these just color buttons and then swap them out to get whatever colors you want on the side of your phone case. Now, I've been using their products for years. They are the first accessory I buy for every phone I own and you can get 15% off one of these cases, including the Magback wallets by using the link down below. They are so, so clutch. I absolutely love them and I'm so glad they are now available on the S24 Ultra. Now, once you've got your case, you're probably gonna wanna protect the screen on your phone. And even though the S24 Ultra has this new Victus armor glass on the front, I still managed to scratch my screen before I got around to buying a screen protector. This literally happens every year, but I am using the dome glass screen protector from Amazon for the S24 Ultra. And even if you've scratched your phone, this thing actually fills in all of those scratches and makes your screen look brand new again. I fitted the same to my S23, and this does take a little time to fit because the dome glass actually uses glue to glue the screen protector to the front. And then you use this like USB powered UV light to cure the glue once it's all stuck down. And since you are literally squirting glue onto the screen, you need to tape up all the buttons to be sure that no glue gets inside any of the gaps and the sets and like jams up your phone. But it feels incredible. It gives you full coverage across the glass. It still makes the screen feel like it should, unlike some of the other screen protectors I've tried. And it does a great job at actually protecting your actual phone screen from those micro scratches that you will pick up over time. Even better, you get two in a box, which I actually needed because I managed to mess up the first one. Or if you're not an idiot like me, you can just swap it out when you need to. But overall, it is the best screen protector I've come across so far. And one that is really, really going to stand the test of time with this phone. Quick tip, if you do go fit one of these, once you have done it, go and enable the enhanced sensitivity on your screen, which you can do in the display settings, and also re-enroll your fingerprint just so you don't have any issues using your fingerprint to unlock your phone anymore. Over to the charger now, because Samsung, like Apple, does not include a charger in their phone. Now, I recently picked up this Anchor charger. I can never remember the model number, so I'll make sure I have this and um, everything else links down below this video. Now, this one has two USB-C ports and one USB-A port and can charge up to 100 watts in total. So that gives you 45 watts for charging your phone at the fastest speed possible, but also gives you an extra 55 watts to charge other devices like maybe your partner's phone, maybe some headphones or something larger, maybe like a laptop. So I always throw this one in my bag along with a few charging cables and I know that I'm going to be covered. Now in terms of portable charging, I recently picked up this Anker power bank with a built-in USB-C charging cable. It is only 30 watts, but it is small, it is light, has an additional USB-C and USB-A port on the side, and like lots of the latest Anker chargers, has a very useful screen on the front to show you how much battery is left, but also how long it will take to charge whatever devices are connected, as well as how long it will take to charge the battery up if you need to recharge the battery pack itself. And if you are looking for something that is maybe a little more substantial, maybe you're going camping for the weekend, then try this brand new, very substantial and incredibly useful 
power cord. Now it charges up to 60 watts, has USB-C and A ports, plus this handy little lamp on the top, so you can use that for when you are camping and want to you know, use it for lights. And you can even charge this via solar. Now this thing can charge the S24 Ultra up to around 10 times. So if you're on a weekend camping trip, it's the perfect thing to bring with you. Nice. Next up, let's talk audio. And I have two recommendations for you here. Now, if you are going all in on Samsung products, including the S24 Ultra, then the obvious choice would be the Galaxy Buds 2 Pros. Now they sound great. They can switch between Samsung devices, such as your phone and the Galaxy Tab, just like Apple's own AirPods do. They charge wirelessly. They have really good active noise cancellation and also have some clever features such as automatically pausing when you start talking to somebody. You can also use smart things to find and track them individually if you lose like an earbud. And there's a feature to play a little noise if you walk away from your earbuds to prevent you from you know, leaving them behind. Five hours of battery life, 18 hours with the case, IPX7 water resistant. And I do love the quality of the audio that comes out of these things. It's not too bassy, it's a really balanced sound, but I do have a problem with the Galaxy Buds 2 Pros. I'm just not sure if it's a me problem because I generally run into this issue with most earbuds but they just don't stay in my ears when doing anything other than sitting still like I am here. Now, this is something I came across for my AirPods, and these are replacement ear tips for the Galaxy Bud 2 Pros, which are made from memory foam rather than the silicon ear tips that comes with the buds. And with these tips fitted, at least for me, they do seem to stay in my ears better than without those ear tips. These tips actually make the earbuds usable to me. Otherwise, they just totally fall out my ears as soon as I move or do any form of movement. And then definitely not anything like the gym or a workout as I just risk them like falling out and then lose them. So yeah, really, really impressed with these earbuds, but just be sure to swap out those ear tips. But having said that, no matter how hard I try, I always come back to a pair of the Beats Fit Pro. Now I know, I know it's an Apple product, <sighs> but they are one rare breed of Apple products because they actually work really, really great on the S24 Ultra. And they are the only headphones that I can find which actually stay in my ears due to these wingtips that lock into place, no matter whether you're running or jumping. And they sit flush in your ears, so they're not also that bad if you're the type of person who like wears earbuds to sleep. But look at the difference in the size of their cases. Galaxy Buds are tiny in comparison, and you get no wireless charging with the Beats Fit Pro. They're definitely due a new version, but genuinely, like the sound quality is fantastic. Battery life is great. Noise cancellation, also great, mainly because they stay in your ears. I just wish they had some of the adaptive noise cancellation features from the latest generation AirPods Pros. Now, if you are like me and you're in the process of switching from Apple to Android, it can be super expensive to do so once you've bought the essentials, you know, the phone, the headphones, the watch, and don't get me started on a tablet. I still need to try and save up to try Galaxy Tab. So a quick thank you to the sponsor of today's video, Paperlike, who actually make two of my favorite products that I use daily. Now, firstly, the Paperlike 2.1 helps you write and draw on your iPad as if it were paper. Their exclusive NanoDot technology emulates the same resistance of paper and pencil without sacrificing any screen clarity and whilst adding a layer of protection to your screen, which turns the smooth like glass surface that feels quite unnatural into something that feels and even sounds more like using pencil and paper. It is super easy to fit. You also get two in the box and it is a must have for anybody who writes or draws or takes notes with an iPad and a pencil. The second is their all-in-one cleaning kit, which is this like super compact, really well-designed spray bottle. It pops out of the casing, which prevents any accidental sprays inside a bag. You spray whatever you want to clean and then you can use the outer microfiber coating to then clean the screen. It is refillable and genuinely something I use still to this day. So just click the link down below to pick up the Paperlike 2.1 or their cleaning kit. Thank you so much Paperlike for sponsoring this video. Let's take a look at the watch situation now because with Android, you get a lot of options. You get all the different styles and colors and straps. And I've tested a lot of watches here recently. You've got the Pixel Watch 2, the Garmin Epix, the Tick Watch, of course the Galaxy Watch 6. And I'm currently testing the Garmin Mark. But this time around, the second generation Pixel Watch is actually 
the best I have come across. It is responsive, its battery life is great this time around, it's durable, so I definitely recommend giving it a try. But of course, if you want the best integration, then of course, the Galaxy Watch 6 is gonna be the perfect companion. Even though I do find it quite laggy and slow at times, and I do think the interface could do with some refinements. But if you are getting into your fitness and perhaps you're coming from an Apple Watch and an Apple Watch Ultra, then definitely check out the range of fitness watches from Garmin. Honestly, all of them are pretty great. So I've tested the Phoenix, the Epix here, and now the Mark, and they are pretty much one of the best fitness watches money can buy. Now they are limited in terms of their smart features. They don't have things like built-in LTE, but their fitness features are absolutely second to none. But if you don't like wearing a full-on watch, but want something that you can help track your fitness goals, then check out the Whoop 4.0. Now I've been wearing this for over a year now, maybe even two years, and people keep asking me, why am I wearing two watches? Now this is the Whoop 4.0, and the Whoop has a number of unique features which are becoming more and more useful over time. Now firstly, it tracks all of the usual metrics you'd expect, your sleep, heart rate, body temperature. You can also track exercise from runs to strength training to even taking a cold plunge or a sauna session. And using the daily journal feature is by far the most fascinating feature, which is by answering a few yes or no questions. Whoop then builds out this huge wealth of knowledge specifically about you and how certain activities or certain foods affect your body. Essentially, it is this small sensor that straps onto your wrist or your arm or anywhere on your body really, which connects via Bluetooth. And the battery lasts around five to seven days. Now it's not a typical accessory, but I really, really do like what this thing does. Okay, over to a gadget that is a typical accessory, and that is actually the official Samsung Trio charger. Now I don't know about you, but I really struggle to find any good like double or triple chargers for you know, Android phones in general. Now what I normally do is end up slapping on the MagSafe case, like I said earlier, and then using a MagSafe iPhone charger instead. But this is actually some really, really nicely high quality, very good piece of kit from Samsung. Now it has three wireless charging areas. Now, firstly, you have the watch, which has magnets in there to make sure the watch stays in the right place and it doesn't slide off. Then it has two more charging pads here to charge maybe your phone, perhaps those new Galaxy Buds as well. And all of them can charge all at once, all from a single USB-C cable. And the charger for this even comes in the box crazy. Now it is only 25 watts though, split between all the devices. So since the Ultra can charge up to 45 watts, you want to use the separate charger for that if you need the fastest charge possible. Otherwise, this charging pad also has some really nice grippy pads on the bottom to keep the charger itself like in place. If you're fumbling around at night, you can still kind of comfortably, you know, put your phone on or take it off without knocking things over. And the thing I like about this is that when you put your device onto charge, once it is full, the little LEDs here turn green. So we put the watch on and it will go green when it goes fully charged. You put the phone on and you can see that they're red at the moment whilst it's charging because it's actively charging the devices. Now the next one is actually a really cool one. This is the Galaxy Smart Tag. Now if you have a Samsung phone, I'd buy one of these for every set of keys or in my case my wife's keys as she always loses them. For every suitcase you own, maybe when you go on holiday, maybe hide one in your car somewhere, hide one in your kids coats. You can even use them as pet collars for dogs or cats. They are just so, so handy. So using these tags, you can easily find stuff when it goes missing by either playing an audible noise on the tag or using your phone to see how close you are to it. Now there are two different versions of these tags. There's this version and there's the Smart Tag Plus. And the only real difference is that with the Plus version, you get ultra wideband connectivity. And all that means is that you can then get a more precise location with the Smart Tag Plus. But for the regular Smart Tag, you still get in the nearby area, play a sound, still find it. So I don't personally think that it's worth paying the extra money to get the Plus version of the tag. But of course, if you think it's worth it, then go for it. Now there are some other really cool things with the Smart Tags. Number one, you can double tap the tag and it will make your phone ring, which is really cool if say you have your keys in your hand with the tag on, but now you can't remember where you left your phone. Super, super cool. And the even cooler thing about these tags is that they integrate with Samsung Smart Things. And so the button on the tag can be pushed or pushed and held to trigger two different things. And that could be anything. It could be turning a light on, unlocking a door, opening a garage door. I actually have an issue with Android Auto right now where it doesn't easily give you access to open a garage door. So with one of these on my keys, I can just push and hold to open or close my garage door. I just really like that about these tags. It's something I've not come across with anything like Apple's own AirTags and they're a fantastic accessory to get for your phone. So let me know down in the comments which was your favorite accessory. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.